It's currently 4 a.m. and I have to get to the airport in two hours. And I, I called an Uber. I booked it for 5 a.m. So hopefully it gets here on time and hopefully I get to check in on time. So I'm a bit nervous because I don't fully have all the details regarding check in. So yeah, let's see how it goes. And I'm very tired. I haven't slept, unfortunately, because there's no more time to sleep. And I was playing games till about 11. So that didn't help. I already broke my shoes, so I need to swap it with the other one in my bag. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to walk around with one bad leg. Like... This phone case gives dropping, and I think I'm gonna break my phone by the end of the day. I need a shower. Second one today, obviously. Going to my room. I'm ready for another shower. I think this is fine. The door is vacant. Very strange. Is it being cleaned or something? Yeah, it looks like it's being cleaned. What the heck? Um, I don't think I should be in here. That is so strange. I just got in here and it looks like the bed hasn't been made. The door was opened. And I don't know if I should be in here yet. I think I'm just going to call the reception. Um, hi, I, I got the room 315 and um, the bed hasn't been made and the door was open. No, it's fast. Yeah, they're going to change the room. <laughs> Okay, I am not having a great day. I don't know what's happening. This is like the second weird thing that's happened to me today. But let's, let's see. I'm heading back down, see if I can get another room. My mistake, it says 1315. I thought it was 315. Looks like there's still some cleaning happening. 1315. Sorry, thank you. nicer than the one down there so i am finally in my room <laughs> my actual room this time yes uh so i went to the wrong room and i was just like super confused as to what was going on but um yeah the lady wasn't having it she was not in the mood <laughs> so i'm really excited to be here um i've met a couple of other creators on the way here um so i came on a taxi ride with some three other people um, I'm assuming they're creators as well and I'm not even gonna lie I don't recognize a lot of the people that I've seen so far um, other than the my contact from at Square Enix so yeah that's been that's been fun so I don't think anybody knows who I am anyway so it's fine I guess um, but yeah hopefully this is this makes for a good networking event and you know I get to meet more people because I work full time and it doesn't really allow me for, allow for um, meeting new people on the platform on Twitch and stuff so uh, yeah that's really unfortunate but it's it's the card I've been dealt there's nothing much I can do about it just um try to connect as much with many people as I, as I can uh, when I get the chance but which usually almost never happens so yeah anyway I'm really excited to be here um, the actual event is tomorrow um, so apparently there's gonna be a shot of us that's gonna come pick us up in the morning um, to the actual venue um, the hotel is quite nice I can show you around my room uh, I'm not sure what the plan is for the rest of today but I know there's some people still flying in from all around EU and that should be fun so I know Ben is here I didn't know because everybody wasn't allowed to say anything to each other but 
Ben is coming, so at least there's one person I do know. <laughs> but I haven't seen him yet because I think he's probably flying in from Manchester. I could be wrong though, but I think that's the case. But anyway, I can show you around the room. Uh, there's a nice double bed. That's my shirt that I just took off. And my phone case over there, uh, a desk. And my luggage over here. A uh, basin that's not in the toilet, which is very strange. That's me, obviously. And the toilet and bath. Looks compact and has all the amenities that you should need. And the hangers by the wall, another mirror. In, I'm guessing wardrobes, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a store right there. Yeah. Oh, there's a TV as well. The walls are like, I'm not sure what, I don't know. They're like wallpaper, but really nice wallpaper. Anyway. So I wanted to do a quick breakdown of things because um, I feel like there's not a lot of information online and personally I never thought I would be invited to one of these things to be honest because let's face it, I am a tiny creator and I, you know, I'm a marginalized creator and I feel like a lot of these opportunities don't really extend to us for the most part so it's not something that I actually kind of aspire to in a way and the fact that I actually got it is great is big I mean real big ups to Square for even considering putting someone like me in such an event so basically I tried to find out as much information as I can before coming here because you know just trying to prepare knowing what to expect and things like that but it was kind of hard because there's not a lot of information online which is really unfortunate I just waited and just waited for um, any message or any feedback or updates from my contact at Square and that's the only thing that I've gotten so far like there's no information online as to when you get the email how long and when you can announce and things like that so basically I'm just going to try and do like a quick breakdown of everything that happened up until now today the 29th of May 2024 so I got an email from someone at Square Enix on April 4th 2024 um, at this point, I play Final Fantasy XIV on and off. So I literally just played Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and I jumped into XIV straight away because I knew the audience was quite similar. I don't think that was a requirement personally, but I don't know what goes into the selection process. They said, oh, would you be interested in going? Again, like I said, I wasn't fully playing Final Fantasy XIV. I was just dabbling in everything. Uh, I would go back when a new patch or an event is happening there and there. I was like, yeah, I mean, it wasn't something that I expected or aspired to go to at that point. So it was uh, it was a surprise to me that they even contacted me in the first place. So I said yes. And the this person was like, okay, don't worry. Uh, I'll get back to you shortly. And it was a radio silence for like two weeks or so. I got an email confirming the flight, but as soon as I got the initial email or the force, I called my manager, I was like, yo, I need these dates off. I need them off work, okay? There's no way I'm not going to this. And if you can't give me those days off, I'm calling in sick, okay? It was approved, I was so excited. And I waited a couple of weeks and another email came asking for my passport details and my hoodie hoodie size i think i think it was probably right after the first email the hoodie size question the hoodie question came through but yeah basically asked for my passport details and actually that's a lie a few a few weeks passed and i got an nda form to say yo we are inviting you to this trip but you're not allowed to tell nobody they didn't say when the announcement date was they didn't say nothing they just said nda say nothing and that's what I did. I didn't tell anybody and I have kept it a big secret <laughs> ever since. And yeah, so um, 
I got the NDA, I think another week passed, they asked for my passport details, I gave it to them, they booked a flight, they gave me the flight details and then I got another email um, around embargo leave today to when I can announce and do's and don'ts while I'm here. I think everybody gets it, the email, it's not just like me personally. So basically I'm not allowed to video during the actual presentation at the venue tomorrow. Uh, I can record voice but I'm not allowed to uh, record like content from the game. If I do get to try out the game, it will be recorded I think on their side and then they will send me the footage um, later in a few days. With me being me and me not having enough information, I feel like somebody else could want to do this next year. Um, I'm not expecting to always be invited, okay? Somebody else could want to do this next year and they would be like me, completely lost and I'm doing it for the first time and not knowing exactly um, where to go, questions to ask and things like that. So that's why I've made this video. Um, if there's anything that you feel like I've left out, definitely ask in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply. I think that's it up until now. Tonight, nice. we took a flight from London very early in the morning. I've been up since like 4 a.m. I'm asleep, but I got out of bed at 4 a.m. basically. This is where we are today. We are the hotel. I just showed you a little tour of the room. Um, there's some Square Enix staff helping people uh, with taxis, um, at the airport, all that stuff. I'm thinking, have I left anything out? The reason I'm doing this is for somebody else who wants to do this next year and not knowing exactly what's going on and um, or maybe they're waiting for an email. If you haven't gotten it like a month or two before media tour season is happening, yeah, I don't think it's coming. But if you get it, great. I'm happy for you. It's it's gonna be great you're gonna love it i assume it's probably different every time because i know when um endwalker happened i'm pretty sure people knew who was gonna be on the media tour before it happened i could be wrong though but yeah i uh, um i think it's probably different every time but obviously the same logic they would have to have invited you like weeks before and you would know it was happening and where i am going to take a quick nap hopefully i don't oversleep and <laughs> they go to have dinner without me because i haven't eaten today and i'm hungry i'm not like super hungry but you know I could eat. I could eat. I'm very excited. I'm gonna see Yoshi P for the first time tomorrow. I have never met Yoshi P before. Let's see how it goes. I'll try and um, make great content for you. So you might see some of your faves if you stick around, okay? Stick around, you might see some of your faves. That being said, I don't know any of these people, but we're about to be best friends. <laughs> Everyone is meeting up at 1 p.m. So we're gonna go have lunch. Should be fun. The sun is out. Now I'm out. I need coffee and maybe a snack. I'm ordering an ice coffee at that point. But I think it might have ice cream in it. This is what it looks like. Looks really good, but I have to find somewhere to sit and eat. There is a, a pond on the other side, so I think I'm gonna go there and enjoy my weird coffee ice cream thingy. Gonna go sit on one of those stairs. I feel like such a tourist right now. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Just gonna sit there, have this, and then head back and sleep. I don't have a tripod or anything, so I can't actually prop this up so you can watch me eat this, but I can guarantee it tastes good. <laughs> At least the ice cream does. <laughs> it's currently 7.09 and uh, dinner is happening soon or has already started, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go out now. I had a little nap. It was like, I was waking up like every hour from like 3 p.m. But yeah, I was really tired and the coffee didn't help keep me awake. So um, I had a nap and that was really good. And as you can see, my eyes are kind of puffy now, but I just uh, cleaned up a bit, took off my makeup and now I'm gonna go have something to eat for the first time today. Well, minus the ice cream that I had before, <laughs> obviously, but yeah. I think they look fairly decent, presentable. So let's go. It's raining outside, so I'm gonna go back and grab my umbrella. Good thing I came with mine, <laughs> with one. Well, I mean, it's not heavy, you just hide basically, but I need to go grab my umbrella. I don't want to get drenched because this is like mesh, basically. So I'll get soaked really quickly. So I'm gonna grab an umbrella and then 
head back out. Got my umbrella. Always come prepared. <laughs> Look at this view. Look at this. I don't know what the building is. It kind of reminds me of like some bowls. That's what it reminds me of. But basically the restaurant is uh, somewhere down there. I think I see the restaurant up ahead. It's called Peter Pan. And it, I'm guessing it's, it's a Peter Pan. I'm not for sure. <laughs> Oh my god, where's my phone? Shit, I've got my plate on it. It's not good. It's like, it was good, dude. We had a, we had a dinner with Yoshida the other day, and he was ordering all this wine, and everyone was drinking. So I'm back now, got to talk to a bunch of people, had a couple of drinks, it was good, I had a great time. Tomorrow is the actual event, um, it looks like there's a couple of events happening at the same time, so it looks like group from another country so this group right now that i'm in is from uk and australia and there's another group from elsewhere that's um come or france that's actually come so i thought it was like eu other way but it's not the case so there's a group from france that have been here since monday apparently it's currently wednesday now so they've actually done their video tour and are leaving soon so that's uh quite interesting really yeah forgive me i've had a couple of drinks <laughs> so i'm a bit all over the place Tomorrow I'm gonna pack up for like everything that I need. Yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go to bed. Um, that being said, I'm not very sleepy, but I am kind of. I've kind of been drinking, so hopefully that helps. Um, picked up what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Clean and simple top and a skirt, and should be good. I might just watch something. This is like WWE on at the moment, so hopefully that puts me right to sleep. <laughs> Like, what am I looking at right now? Like, what is this? It's been playing for at least an hour. I just put it on this channel. And somebody on the WhatsApp group says to check it out, and I'm completely lost. What exactly is happening? It keeps playing the same songs over and over again, and I can't tell you this is what this is about. And <laughs> I'm actually so tired. Like, what is, what is that face? Why does it look so tired? And why is that a frog in space? Well, alligator? It looks like an alligator actually. So today is the actual day of the event, so um, uh, it's currently 6.35. I've got like two hours to get ready, so let's get into it. So it is officially day two of Final Fantasy XIV media tour for Don Trail. Um, I'm going to be heading down and joining everybody else for the shuttle in a sec and this is the look and yeah I'm going to try and record as much as I can today as well um, again I don't want to point cameras in people's faces because I think it's it's rude <laughs> so this is the final look I think I look fairly presentable so my new balance is doll skill doll skill I'm not sure I've had this for a while so I'm not sure what this is from it's kind of short at the back though, that's just my other concern, but other than that, I think I look, I look fairly presentable. <laughs> Why do I feel so naked? Like, I can't even explain it. Like, I just feel like I am butt naked. And I'm wearing this sh skirt. And if I die, I just feel like everything is out there. But I, I know it's not, but it feels that way. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go before I'm late. I think I'm very early. Well, they already left. Who knows? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm in the lobby. Oh, where did she come from? Just, just it was just here. She's <laughs> coming with us. So cute. Welcome and hi, that's me, by the way. These were cool kids at the back. 
Feel free to give me a shout and or hit me up on the WhatsApp. But other than that, I think we're ready to go. Everyone good? Yeah? No, let's go. It's so humid in here, like it's insane. Nice. Oh god, snakes? Nah. <laughs> no. No. I don't do snakes. This is so cool. <laughs> I don't know what it is, it looks gross.
Oh yeah, they are so adorable. Yes, they are adorable. Oh yeah, I see, I see. It's currently Thursday, 30th of May, 2024, and we are finally done with media tour for Dawn Trail, Final Fantasy XIV. I am so excited. Today was a lot. We did a lot. We went there for hours. We're there from like half nine. There's a lot to cover. I recorded so much content. I don't know exactly how I'm going to fit it into one video. I don't think it's possible. Um, so I'm probably going to split it up into multiple different things and try and cover as much as I can in all of them. Yeah, so look out for all those videos coming your way shortly. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, a lot of stuff or a lot of like job related content that I covered are not like things that I'm very comfortable with. So I don't feel the need, I don't see the point in actually giving you too much about that. I will tell you what I know and what I'm comfortable with, you know, sharing. Um, so if you ask me questions, I'll be able to answer you type of situation rather than just like give you everything and nobody finds it useful. It's gonna be fun. I'm really excited and I'm super grateful that I was given this opportunity um, by Square Enix, which was so unexpected. <laughs> But I've been playing for Tina for three years and this is just, uh, it's, it's huge. Uh, it's an opportunity for growth and also network with a lot of other creators as well. Uh, there's a lot of people I met, a lot of them I've never actually come across before and a lot, of, I mean, they're all doing like great things. It's actually really beautiful to see new creators, old creators and, you know, like really big ones as well. So, um, just really grateful to be in the midst of so much power and influence i guess um i can't wait to share everything that i did today uh, my flight is a half midday tomorrow so oh yeah this is the pass that we got it was really cute it has my name on it and it says don't drill we got a bag as well we got a goodie bag i should probably show you what's in there so we got this bag right here it's so cute and um it has this chain and it says warrior of light the wind of new adventure beckons to distant shores uh, right there and it's got a little note having defeated the despair of the final days the warrior of light and their comrades had resumed walking their respective paths yet fate would see them reunited for a mission onto another reflection and now an un unexpected petition has arrived beckoning them west to the far, far away continent of Tyrell. answer the call seek new horizons and embark upon an adventure the likes of which you have never experienced square enix not for sale <laughs> And it says medium on there because that's the size of my hoodie. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you what's inside. Yeah, this is nice unboxing of the Don Trill rucksack. It looks, uh, I think it's kind of like an imitation of the one that um, Erin carries around. Um, we got this little 
binder as well. It has very top secret important information that I'm not allowed to share. Uh, it's really cute. I'm gonna put it on a shelf somewhere or something. I don't know. <laughs> and um, I've got this notebook that says Dontrell to add all my notes from my expedition <laughs> to Terrell. Um, yeah, it's just a notebook with like blank pages. Yeah, really cute. And my favorite thing from this bag, personally, it's a compass, um, and it looks like this. It says uh, Square Enix uh, on the back, and it's proper like one as well. Like you can tell, it's like kind of meant to look like you know old. And it's got a compass inside. <laughs> It is so cool. It says um, Square Enix not for sale on the back. Dawn Trail on the front right there. And Final Fantasy XIV. And you open it like so. And it's an actual working compass. So cool. I don't know how to use a compass, but I'll learn. And it says Journey Westwards to Watch Tyrell on there. Ignore my nails. I had them done before the strip and it's all gone. But yeah, that's the compass. It's really cute. I love it. Focus, please focus. It's uh, the best thing from this bag. There. There is a hoodie in a dust bag. And it looks like so. It's got like the starting, the icon or the logo for Don Trail. And at the back, it says Don Trail. It's really cute. Well, it's a small. But um, yeah, I had a medium originally and it was too big. Ooh. I did not see this before. What, what is it? Oh, it's a flash drive. I didn't see this before. It says Dontrell on there. I don't know if you can see it. It says Dontrell on there. And on the other side, it says it says Final Fantasy 14. It says Final Fantasy 14. Yes. So cute, and it's got a gold uh, chain as well. There was also a pen that came with the book. Um, it says Don Trail on there. It is a pen, right? Yeah, more like a pencil actually. Yeah, it is a pencil. Cool. Don Trail. And finally, in the bag, I'm pretty sure that's the last thing in there. Yeah. There is this tube and it has two sticks. This is this these are sticks, basically. And a drum roll and a banner for the Don Drill logo. Yay! And obviously the the stick is to hang. It's for the edges basically. Yeah, this also came in the tube as well. What the banner is meant to look like. Like right there. All in all, this has been a fantastic trip, honestly. Like, if anything, it's actually motivated me to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I might not be as big as a lot of people here. Uh, but it still doesn't diminish what I bring to the community or the value that I add as a creator uh, especially one that looks like myself there's not much of us <laughs> in the community as you can already tell uh, this is the beginning of something greater to come to 14 and more people like me uh, will get more opportunities like this like I'm really really hopeful for the future and for what's to come honestly i'm really grateful and really happy to be here but i'll try and do another update tomorrow morning before i head off to the airport also very scared about the content that i'm going to put out because i don't know how it's going to be received or perceived by people but i just hope me putting out there gives our people some kind of an idea of what this was like from my pov and maybe if this is something they inspire to do at some point they can see at least what to expect excited for everything that's to come uh, excited for 
beautiful. The expansion, there was a lot hidden as well from the demo that we played today, so we don't know anything about the story. I couldn't tell you. Don't know anything about the story, don't know anything about the characters. We didn't talk to any of the NPCs, so but yeah, that will be in another video, so look out for that. Managed to do a dungeon with Rain Banana. Yeah, just Rain Banana. And um, another creator called Dawn, which I will try and tag them properly in the in the video of the dungeon when I put it out. If you got this far, thank you for watching. Um, again, like I said, uh, tomorrow is going to be the final part to the vlog, just showing you my true back, which shouldn't take that long. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I am running very late. Uh, the, cab the cabs are already here, so just wanted to show you an outfit of the day. I'm wearing this skirt, uh, laced up, and this um, jumper. It's going to be 22 degrees today, so a bit casual and trying to stay as cool as I can. So this is all. Very basic. And we're done. That's it. That's a wrap. Uh, airport toilet. heading home, checked in and everything, and um, yeah, it's been good. So I just made the announcement video and obviously wearing this gorgeous top as well and oh my gosh, I am bracing myself for everything that's gonna come next and the responses and the feedback from everyone um, with everything that I've put out. I am really really nervous and excited at the same time like this is the biggest thing that I've ever done and as you can understand anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed the vlog I just wanted to do a sign a proper sign out because I didn't get to do one when I go back but I've been back a, a day now and it's been it's been a fun experience just editing all the content and adding uh, like funny things here and there because I can't really do like a proper voiceover because it's not it doesn't feel right because I wasn't talking when I was recording the thing. So yeah, anyway, really excited. Um, gonna upload this shortly, so bye. <laughs>